Hello there, my name is Gary Sims from Android Authority. Now there are lots of different quick charging systems out there and most of the OEMs have their kind of favorite system that they use. Now recently I had the chance to review the Oppo F1 Plus. Now the Oppo F1 Plus uses Oppo's own VOOC fast charging system. And I thought it'd be good if we took a deeper dive to see how VOOC works. Now, before we go into actually look at VOOC itself, it'd be good if we have some background information about charging, about battery charging, and about fast charging. Now, we all know that we use our mobile phones during the day, the battery gets depleted, and then when we get home or whenever we plug our phone into a charger and the charger recharges the battery. And what it's doing is it's taking electricity from your house supply and it's converting it to the right levels and putting it back into the battery. Now, energy that's transferred into the battery is measured in watts. Now, you can calculate watts by multiplying the voltage and the amps. So the volts time amps is equal to watts. Now, a USB port runs at five volts at 0.5 amps. So five times 0.5 is 2.5 watts. That's how much energy a USB port can supply to a device. Now, a fast charging system might run at around five volts and two amps. So that's five times two, that's 10 watts of energy. Now, obviously that's four times greater than what you would get out of a USB port. Now, a quick charging system would run maybe at nine volts. So the voltage has gone up from five volts now to nine volts, but at a lower current, maybe 1.67 amps. And nine times 1.67 will give us around 15 watts. So we've got 2.5 watts, 10 watts and now 15 watts for a quick charging system. Now VOOC is a bit different. It still runs at five volts, but now it runs at four amps and five times four gives us 20 watts of energy. So the VOOC charging system can run at five volts, but yet still deliver 20 watts of energy to your battery. Now the other thing to quickly understand is that batteries are charged in two stages. First of all, there's a charge up to around 80%. And that can be done at high power, can be done very quickly. And then there's the trickle bit at the end, which tops up the battery to 100%, and that's at a much lower levels of energy. That's the 80% to 100%, so stage one and stage two. And that's why a lot of phone manufacturers talk about how quickly they can charge to 80%, or 30 minutes of charging will get you to 75%, or 30 minutes of charging will give you another eight hours of battery life, because they're talking about that first stage of charging, which is very quick, very high power. Now, when I reviewed the Oppo F1 Plus, I was able to see how quickly it charges. Now, this particular phone has a 2,850 milliamp hour battery, and it can go from zero to 75% in just 35 minutes. In fact, it only takes 45 minutes to go from zero to 90%. Now, up to 90% under VOOC, on the, particularly on this phone, is all part of that stage one charging. Lots of energy, and it happens very quick. But to go from 90% to 100% takes an extra 24 minutes which means the overall charging time is one hour and nine minutes. Now your average phone will heat up by about eight degrees, even as much as maybe 11 or 12 degrees while it is charging. But the thing about the VOOC system I discovered is that actually the temperature rise is actually quite small. I've tested the Oppo F1 Plus and previously I've also tested the Oppo R7S and both of them were able to charge with only a temperature rise of three or four degrees. That's, that's more than half to what the other phones are using. So in fact, when you hold the phone while it's charging, it doesn't feel particularly warm on the back, even if it has a metal construction or other types of material that conduct heat very well. Now, maybe you found yourself in the situation where you wanted to watch a film or play a game on your mobile phone, but the battery is quite low and you know that if you start, the battery isn't gonna last until you get through to the end. So of course, what do you do? You just plug the phone into the charger and that's quite normal. But have you noticed that while you're playing a game or watching a video, actually the phone doesn't charge very quickly at all. In fact, it seems to take ages to charge. So why is that? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the average phone will heat up by about eight degrees when you're charging up. And that's because there is some voltage conversion going on inside the phone. When you're quick charging, you're supplying maybe nine volts or 12 volts, and that needs to be converted inside of the phone and that produces heat. Now also, when you use your phone to watch a video, you're using the CPU, using the GPU, using the Wi-Fi, and they all produce heat. 
And that would mean there'd be two heat sources in your phone while it is charging, and that's not acceptable. Therefore, what most smartphones do is if they are being used while they are charging, they drop from quick charge mode down to normal mode, and therefore reduce the amount of heat that's being produced. But as a result, they take longer to charge. Now the amazing thing about the VOOC charging system is that actually you can watch a video while charging and the phone still charges at exactly the same rate as it charges when the phone is off. So for example, on the Oppo R7S, it takes 81 minutes to charge it from zero to 100%. And it also takes 81 minutes to charge it from zero to 100% while you're watching a video on the very same phone. So that's really quite impressive. So what we're going to look at now is a, I've got three phones here, the Oppo F1 Plus, the Huawei Mate 8, and the Galaxy Note 5. And we're going to see how they go watching a video while charging from a very low battery rate for half an hour and see where we get to. Okay, so here are my three test phones. Here at the top I've got the Huawei Mate 8, here is the Oppo F1 Plus, and here is the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And I've run down all the batteries to around 5%, and we're gonna charge these while streaming a video over YouTube. I'm also gonna be monitoring the temperature of the phones as we go along. So let's just check the initial state of each phone before we start charging. So here we have our Galaxy Note 5. And let's just check the battery on that. The battery on that at the moment is 4%. Now let's just check the temperature on the back of this. So I'm reading 20.1 degrees on that one. Now let's go to the Oppo here. Let's just check the temperature, the battery on this one. It's also at 4%. 20.7 degrees. And finally here, the Huawei Mate 8. And then we can see the battery is at 5% on this one. And let's just tech check the temperature. That one says 22.8 degrees. Okay, and now we'll kick up their charges to them. And we'll see how the battery charges after 30 minutes. Okay, so we've just come up to the half hour mark. So let's see how each of these phones has charged while streaming a video over YouTube. Let's start here with the Note 5. Let's go to the battery app to see what it says, 24%. Okay, let's go over to the Huawei Mate 8. Let's look at the battery app, 31%. And finally, let's look here at the Oppo F1 Plus and that has reached 68%. So 24%, 31%, and 68% while streaming video. Now, as you saw, I also measured the temperature during that charging cycle there of 30 minutes. And I'd like to tell you that the Note 5 went up by 8.8 .8 degrees while it was charging and watching a video. The Mate 8 went up by 8.2 degrees while it was charging and watching a video. And the F1 Plus went up by 10.7 degrees while it was quick charging and watching a video. So quickly then, just to summarize, the VOOC charging system is a fast charging system. The F1 Plus is able to go from zero to 100% in just one hour and nine minutes, and that's for a 2,850 milliamp hour battery, which is quite impressive. But because it uses five volts and four amps, the VOOC system actually managed to keep your phone pretty cool. And also, if you find yourself in that situation where you want to watch a video or play a game while charging your phone, the VOOC system will keep charging the phone at the same rate as it would if the phone was just sleeping on the table. So that's three very good advantages. Well, my name's Gary Sims from Android Authority, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. You should definitely also download the Android Authority app onto your smartphone so that you can stay up to date with all the different news and reviews and features that we're publishing on androidauthority.com. Also, please use the comments below to tell me what you think about VOOC charging, what you think about fast charging in general. And also, last but not least, stay tuned to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.